Edward, the blue engine, was dozing happily in the goods shed one morning when his driver and fireman woke him excitedly. Good news, old fellow! The fat controller has asked us to take some freight cars to the harbor today. Edward smiled. Well, the only thing better than a pleasant change is a pleasant surprise. He yawned and enthusiastically marshaled his freight cars to embark on his important mission. The old blue engine coasted down the line, with each wheel's turn inspired by the seaside gradually coming into view. When Edward arrived, he found the harbor yard sort of empty, but he didn't mind. The salty air and sea breeze was worth the trip. He shunted his freight cars and was just preparing to go back home when a harbor patrolman approached him. All right, all right, everybody listen up. There's been an accident near the bay. A fishing boat collided into a tugboat on its way into the harbor, and now it's sunk. The crew is fine, but the lifeboats are not equipped with oars. Sheer foolishness, if you ask me. Anyway, we're worried that they'll drift off too far unless we pull them to shore. Edward, can you help me, please? Yes, sir, I'll be glad to assist, said Edward. We better get going, said his driver. Come on, Sid. We need to get Edward near the quayside. Edward was positioned on a short siding near the quayside. The patrolman showed him a bizarre looking device. It was a large cannon-like machine attached to a long cable. This, said the patrolman, is an old harpoon cannon used to hunt whales out on the ocean years ago. We aren't hunting whales right now, but it's just the way we'll snag our friends at sea. The patrolman readied the machine aiming as precisely as he could. FIRE! The harpoon shot out to sea, and the castaways quickly grabbed hold of it and attached it to their lifeboat. Now it was Edward's turn. With strong chains fastened to his front, he reeled the boat in as carefully as he could. If he reversed too quickly, he could break the chain or likely tear the boat in half. However, Edward was gentle and strong, and eventually brought the castaways to safety at last. The castaways cheered as they climbed to high ground, but the job wasn't over yet. There was still one more boat to go. The harpoon cannon was ready for a second rescue shot. The second group of castaways attached the harpoon to the bow of their lifeboat, and Edward reeled them in once more. After a great deal of work, all the castaways were saved. They were extremely grateful, and Edward, who was very tired from the thrilling adventure, went off to rest on a siding. The harbor patrolman came to see Edward. A remarkable act of courage, my friend, he said. I was afraid you'd pull one of those boats in half. He turned to the driver and fireman. You two got yourselves an enterprising engine right here. If I had it my way, he'd be on harbor patrol. But that wouldn't be right. I'm sure he's in his rightful place as an engine on the fat controller's railway. <laughs> <laughs>